Hi there everyone and welcome. If you're a familiar friend, welcome back. And if you're a new viewer to my channel or you've been catching videos here and there, I really hope that you'll consider subscribing because whenever you subscribe, it really helps my channel to grow. And it is completely, absolutely free to subscribe. There is no cost to you, but it is a big help to me because it really helps my channel to grow. So I would really appreciate it. So this has been a crazy busy weekend as always. I mean, it's so crazy all the time. It's like, there's just tons of stuff to do. And of course I have a teenage daughter, so you can only imagine how busy that keeps me, right? So, but I'm always so happy whenever it's video day. It's like, I just get so excited because I get to decorate and I get to share it with everybody. So it's just so much fun. But after my video today, I really hope to get back down into my basement and try to get all the rest of the organizing done because I got a lot of it done the last weekend, I think it was, I was working on it, but I didn't get everything done. I still had a couple of things left to do. So I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed that after this video, I can get back downstairs and get the rest of the organizing done. But for now, I am going to decorate my other bookshelf. I know it's really not a bookshelf because it only holds a couple of books, but it's a decorative, decorative shelf or for displaying pretty things. But I'm going to be decorating that today. And I'm also going to show everyone the little tweaks that I made to my last bookshelf. Um, there was a couple of little things that some people were pointing out and I just wanted to kind of go back and just look at it and think, okay, yeah, maybe I should change this up a little bit. So I did go and made a little, a couple little adjustments. So I'll definitely share those with you all. And I'm going to, I already put the, I already put the cloths on my shelf just to make it a little bit easier. And what I want to do first is I want to show you guys how I placed these cloth napkins because you'll see how I wanted it to tie in with my other bookshelf. So I'll go ahead and show you that part first. This is my bookshelf from my last video. And as you can see, I have my cloth napkin in that corner. And then going down, I have it in the right corner. And you can also see, I just tweaked my books a little wee bit because some people thought that maybe it would be nice to be able to see the decorative bookend. So I just kind of put those at an angle. And you know what? I really like it better that way. I think it looks so nice at the angle. And then down here, as you can see, that cloth napkin is on the left. So do you kind of see the pattern here that I, I have going on? And down here, I know that this outlet was being a little stinker and it was showing, but I didn't want to move the pot on the left to the right because it, the flow, it just would have been thrown off with the way that I have the greenery because do you see how I kind of have it left, right, left, right. So if I would have moved that, it just would have thrown the whole thing off. So what I did do was I just moved the pretty tall candle holder, the red one. I moved it right in front there to try to cover up that outlet. And then I just kind of shimmied everything else around a little bit. And how I have it here is this one is on the right. And then we have it on the left. And then on the right again. And then on the left. So this way it'll just really be pleasing to the eye whenever you're looking at my bookshelves um, because of the placement that I have the napkins. This box is my first item that I'm going to be displaying. And oh my gosh, you guys, this means so much to me. This piece was given to me by my mom and it is so old. And I just wanna show you the picture that's on the front of it. And I hope that you can see it. And I just think that this is so beautiful. And this was given to my mom by her mom when she was a little girl and she used to keep like just little trinkets in it, makeup or hair, little clips or whatever, just, you know, little trinkets that girls would have back then. And it means so much to me. So this is a very 
old piece. My mom is going to be 83 years old, so for her to have this when she was a little girl, this is very old. So I'm going to start by adding it in this corner here. And I'm just going to place it right there on my cloth napkin. And I'm sorry if I'm blocking your view. So, but I'm going to put it right there. And of course, I have to add my greenery, right? <laughs> so I'm going to add this boxwood greenery. And this just came from Walmart. It was very inexpensive, but it's so cute. And it has the little pot to make it look like a terracotta pot. So it's really going to tie in well with all the colors that I use. So, and I put little tabs on the bottom of this because I didn't want it to mark the top of my little box. So I'm just going to put it right there in the middle, just like that and wait till you see this next item. Oh my goodness, this item, I found it at the Goodwill and it really <laughs> ties in to my Tuscan decor. I couldn't believe it whenever I found this. So you just wait, I can't, I can't believe it. Seriously, you ready? Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys, can you believe this? I mean, if this doesn't say Italy, then I don't know what does. Oh my goodness, I love this picture and I really hope that you can get a good look at it, but you have the waterway, you have the boat, you have the arch, and I just think that this is gorgeous. So I did, I found it at the Goodwill. Let me see if the price, nope, I don't have the price tag on it anymore but I just thought it was so perfect. So I'm going to add it in this corner right here. I just gotta grab my little uh, picture stand. And because you all know that I really like to pay attention to detail, I am going to add this. And if you've been following my channel, um, I used one of these out in my kitchen, I believe it was. And I told you that I had a couple of other ones of these, and I found these also at Goodwill. I found a set of three of them. But this is really going to tie in well with this picture because of this arch right here. And this just looks like a piece of almost like it would be broken arch to me. And I just think that it is going to tie in so well. So I'm just going to place it right up here in this corner beside this picture. And I might have to adjust it a little bit just where I'm at in my placement here. But I just want it to be just kind of like this. And I'm sorry if I'm not in your view. So I really like how this shelf is looking, but I also want to show you how, oh, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm tongue tied again. But I also want to show you another way that this stone ties into my living room, and that's on my fireplace. So I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod really quick and just give you a view again of my mantle above my fireplace, just in case you missed that video. But you'll see how this is going to tie into that as well. So as you can see, there is so many Tuscan elements. I tried to really go with the old world Tuscan feel on my fireplace, but you can see I have the stone pillars here and I have the pot and I have these little stands here and I just think that these are so beautiful and this just really screamed Old World Tuscan to me. But so this is just a little glimpse just so that you can see just how this is all going to tie in together. And of course, I have my um, head over there, the statue, and I just think that it's going to all look so beautiful together. Alrighty, I'm going to move down to the next shelf now. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to be in the camera because, or into the focus because I'm going to lower it down. So, but I'll still be talking to you. All right, so on this shelf, I'm going to add this beautiful basket of grapes and grapevines, you guys. And I just love this. And you want to take a guess where I got it? I bet you might know. <laughs> yeah, if you guessed Goodwill, you are absolutely correct. I got this at Goodwill, and I've had it for a few years now, and yeah, the price tag is no longer on it, but I just think it's gorgeous, and it's beautiful, and it's large, and what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm just going to stick it right here, 
and it's just going to be in the center and I'm not putting anything else on either side here because this is so large and I really don't need to and if I put something else on each side it's just going to make it look too busy too crowded so I'm just going to opt right now to just put the one big center piece in the center of this shelf okay so for this shelf I have some more really beautiful things that I'm going to add and you just might get to see my little pooch she's wanting to come over and say hi she's usually camera shy but I'm gonna let you guys see her this is little Bella she is our little she's a little rescue pup and oh my gosh she is just a doll she is a can you say hi huh? look at the camera babes can you see? <laughs> She's a Min Pin Chihuahua mix and she is just so precious. And we've had her about five years now. So yeah, we have two, we have two girls, we have two daughters. <laughs> so that's what we have. And yeah, she's just, she's just a little sweetie. I've tried getting her on camera a couple of different times, but she's just usually, you know, just kind of sticks away <laughs> and so she doesn't, she doesn't like to uh, usually get on camera too much, so, but I'm so glad that I got to actually get to show you guys our little, our little babe, so she's a good girl. <laughs> All right, Bella, go ahead. You can go down, go play. All right, so back to decorating. Oh, you want to play now, huh? You want to stay? You want to help? Okay, you can stay and help, okay? Okay. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a, uh, uh, She's our kid with fur, we like to refer to her as, so. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna add is this beautiful vase, and I've had this vase a very long time, and I love my vases, and you guys, if you've been following me, you've been seeing me decorate with vases before, and I always like to, well not always, but a lot of the times I really like to group my vases in groups of three, so Bella's still on camera here, <laughs> I don't know if you can still see her, but she's standing right here, but um, so I'm going to put this one right here, and I'm going to add a couple more to it, I have one other one, and I love the color on these one, or on this one, you guys, it's just, I, it's almost like a, I don't know, like an ombre like the colors just bleed into each other and I think it's beautiful so I'm gonna put it right here and oops I might have to go back and just adjust them just a little wee bit and I also have this one and I haven't had this one very long at all and I think it's very pretty but yeah it came from Goodwill and I'm gonna add that one just right here like that but of course I need something else to fancy it up just a little bit to glam it up because you guys know that I love to add my little touches of glam whenever I can so I'm a big fan of tassels you guys I just think that they add texture and they add the pop of glam the color it's gold I have so many different tassels and I have been so lucky and I found different ones of them at Goodwill and I'm just going to place this right there just like that just dresses it up a little bit more and this is the next item that I'm going to add you guys oh my goodness yep this came from Goodwill and I love this clock um, I think the battery went dead so I'm gonna have to add another battery but I'm not gonna do that right now but oh my gosh it's I love the floor de lis I love the legs I just think that is this is such a decorative clock and on the back it's also the same way and I just think it is so precious. And I'm gonna put it right here in the middle like this. This end right here, I have another one of these beautiful stones that I'm going to add. And it's going to tie in with the one up above that I showed you. So I'm just going to put it right here. And oops, I don't want this picture stand. I have to grab my other one. <laughs> Okay, that's better. Now I got the right picture stand. And I'm going to add it right there, and that's going to just look so nice together. What do you think? Are you liking it so far? I'm really pleased with how this is coming together. So I'm just gonna show you again just how it's coming together before I move down to my bottom shelf and before I go back and add in the greenery because you guys know I have to add my greenery. So this is the top shell, and then here is my second shell, and here is the third shelf. 
that I just did. And I'm really gonna try to see if I can get on a good angle that you guys can watch me decorate the bottom shell. All right, so this is pretty much as good as I can do with trying to get a good angle for you guys, but I hope it'll work. And Bella is really curious about that camera, so you guys might be getting to see her again. She just might walk in front of the camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is add this picture. And I might not be able to get you a good view of it until after it's on there, but this is what the picture is going to be. And I'm trying to see in my camera right here. But it is of the Florida de lis opening up and oh my gosh, you guys, I think this is so beautiful. And yep, actually I got this one at AmVets. And here I'll show you, the price tag is still on it. Here, let me turn it around. And I paid $6.98 for this at AmVets. And I just think it is so beautiful. I love the Fleur de Lis. I love the frame. The frame is gold and green and I just think it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my uh, picture stand. So here's a good picture of it, you guys. Here's a good view. Um, I just think it's gorgeous, and I really hope that you can see the green in this frame, because the green in the frame, I just think, is just so gorgeous. And I just love how it's the stages of the lily opening. Just beautiful. Okay, so I actually decided I'm going to try and hold my camera while I'm decorating right now because I just can't really get a good view for you guys. And I'm sorry in advance if it is shaky because it just might be a little bit shaky here. So just bear with me, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is just add these antique books that I got from an antique store and I probably paid about a dollar each for them but I just love the colors of them and they're so old and beautiful. So I'm gonna add them just right here in this corner and you know, I might have to go back and tweak it a little bit, but that's okay. Just to get it exactly in the position that I want and check these out. Oh my goodness, are these um, finials just not beautiful? I love them and yeah, you guessed it. They were a Goodwill purchase and I have two of them and they're both the same size so of course you know things look better whenever if you have at least in my opinion anyway if you have two of something and you want to use it together i always just think that it looks nicer to give one a different height and it just balances them out and just makes them look so beautiful together so that's how that's going to look for now and of course i will be adding some greenery here in just a moment and what i'm going to add here in this corner is just a beautiful dish full of artichokes. And I'm just gonna place it here, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually gold etching around this dish. And I just think this dish is so beautiful. And it's a lot like the one that I used on my coffee table. And this one also was my grandfather's also. Or that didn't sound right. This one was also my grandfather's. And I just think it looks so pretty with the artichokes. So this really needs some greenery, you guys. I definitely have to fill this shelf up a little bit more with some greenery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in this corner here and I wanna keep it consistent with my other shelf. So I'm going to incorporate the ivy and the lavender like I did over there. And I'm just gonna add a couple of pieces and it doesn't have to be anything fancy just because I wanna give it my greenery and I'm gonna actually do this off camera so that this video isn't really really long so but I just want to show you kind of what I'm doing just to give you an idea so I'm gonna go ahead and add all my greenery and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks after it's all done okay so now I'll give you those close-ups of how it all looks after I added in the ivy and the lavender
Well, my friends, that's it for my video today. I really hope that you liked this video, and I apologize if you heard squeaking or oinking. Little Bella decided at that point to start playing with her little toy piggy, so I am so sorry. Um, but if you like this video, please give me a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I really hope that you'll consider subscribing because it really will help out my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.